What's up everyone, today we'll talk about my brand new GT Force Pro. But before we move on, I noticed that a big percentage of you aren't subscribed. So make sure you subscribe, it's free and with that you support me creating more content. So GT kept the same Force frame, but for the Pro model they made some big changes to the spec. Last year the GT Force Pro didn't include the high-end components. However, this year it's different. You get the best Fox suspension and a Shimano group set. GT says that the alloy version of the Force is more orientated towards riders who like to go fast and really send it down the mountain. So, this is an alloy frame, so it's a bit heavier. My bike is a size M and it weighs about 15.1 kilograms. You can slightly adjust your geometry with a clip chip. In the low position, the bottom bracket drops for 27 millimeters. GT chose Fox suspension. At the front, you have Fox 38 and in the back Fox Float X2 Shock. I really love the new Fox suspension, but it was a bit confusing to set up since I never had an experience with such a high-end product. Once you set up your suspension, it feels amazing. GT Force Pro has Shimano XT4 piston brakes, which offer tons of power when you need to stop. The drive terrain is mostly XT, although you get an SLX shifter. Hubs are also from Shimano. SLX hubs with a micro spline technology really surprised me. I always liked a loud hub, but the micro spline tech does the exact opposite. When you are pushing the bike uphill, you can hear the hub, but on the downhill, you can enjoy the complete silence. So, my previous bike was a really good climber. GT Force isn't the best climber, but it gets you up the hill. If you have clip pedals, the bike pedals much better. You can get easier up the steep climbs. I made some changes to my dropper post. I switched GT's stock dropper post with my Leave KS 150mm dropper. So, overall, I would say the GT Force is a decent climber. So for the modern 29er enduro bike, GT feels just right, it's not too long or too short. I would say that it has that sweet spot between. With the new Fox 38, you can ride any terrain and you will stay confident. The bike doesn't feel too long or too short. It's stable on fast rough sections and playful in the air. When you set up your suspension correctly, the bike offers tons of support so overall, the GT Force Pro had some big upgrades that made the bike one of the best and most affordable high-end enduro bikes. It climbs well, but it's not the best at getting up the hill. On the downhill, it's a complete rocket ship.